What's good y'all, Elvis here. So I have a small business and all the other small business owners I know, they're really big on supporting small business. All for that shit. More than likely, if you're watching this video, you probably think you're supporting small business too. I'm gonna tell you why that's debatable. Now I'm gonna explain why I doubt that you are. So support as a verb or noun basically is defined as to bear all or part of the weight of. A thing that gives assistance, enables to function or act. A thing that bears the weight of something or keeps it upright. Before someone's pissed off, disclaimer. I appreciate everybody who has played a part in the growth of my business. Whether they liked a photo on Instagram, whether they sat in my chair, whether they marketed for me through word of mouth or any of that. I appreciate all the effort people have put in for my benefit. But all support is not equal and should not be considered as such. The support my business gets from someone sitting in my chair versus liking a picture on Instagram, not the same. And my biggest pet peeve is when somebody wants to throw their little pity support in your face like, oh, I made you, I contributed to this, this, and that. I'm gonna make the story super short, but I had a client who missed an appointment, straight up disrespecting my time, honestly. And then he was like, you can't make any extra time for me? I've been coming to you for like three years. My problem with that is I never asked to cut his hair. He decided to come to me. That's on him. Second, after three years, if you're still comfortable disrespecting my time blatantly, we don't need to do business. You're not really my client. You're just somebody whose hair I cut sometimes. I don't think every contribution someone makes should be considered real support. I would be able to accurately tell you what would be different, but if I had got less support or different support from different people throughout my journey, my life would look different, but I'm still the heart of this operation. If I didn't create the situation, nothing would have happened as a result. No one works harder for my business to work than I do. I know that for a fact. No one is more invested in my business than I am mentally and financially. And I appreciate all the effort that people put in for me. Hey, but at the end of the day, the MVP of this operation is God and myself. If I don't have the vision and act on the vision, none of this shit gets done. It's my job to be my biggest supporter, my biggest cheerleader. I can't expect anyone to put more work into this than I do. Actually, while I'm on the topic, it is no one's job to market or share my shit for me. Stop expecting your followers, your clients, your customers to take the initiative to market for you. That is your job. It's nice when they put in work too and they're spreading the word and stuff. One thing that I feel like small business owners don't really understand too much about social media is that there is so much content out there constantly. But when you scroll on social media, you're gonna see a lot of stuff that you like, but you're gonna see a few things that you love. The things that you really resonate with are usually the things that people share with and engage with the most. And a lot of times what's entertaining or resonates with people is not going to be whatever post you made for your little business. If they're not mentally or emotionally invested in you or your business, they don't really care about your content. For me on Instagram right now, I unfollowed hella people. Anybody who I don't really care specifically about what they're posting on social media, even people who I talk to on a regular basis, if I have their phone number, I'm not pressed about following them on social media. Content is content. Most of the time I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. If someone posts a video, I look at the first five seconds. Like it if I like them. Keep it pushing. If it's content that I really consumed, it resonates with me, I might leave a comment, I might share. I really appreciate when people like, comment, and share my stuff, but I don't give a fuck about pity engagement. You don't resonate with what, I, what I'm putting up. You don't have to react. My Instagram page basically acts as a funnel for new clients. So I could really care less about the engagement online unless it directly translates to new clients. My opinion on black business. I'm all for keeping money in circulation within the black community. But what really frustrates me is the black standard of business is usually just an inferior version of white business. I'm tired of someone operating their business inefficiently or mediocre and trying to cut people slack because, oh, it's a black business. Being a black business has nothing to do with quality. It literally just describes the race of the person that owns the business. Inferior business is inferior business. You don't have to do it bigger to do it better. If you're not trying to do it better, might as well. Might as well keep up the standard at least. Why let the bar slip? That doesn't benefit anybody. Now, if we talk about supporting business, America as a corporation has benefited so much from the value that black people bring, but it is not a black business because we don't own it. As a collective, we put billions of dollars into this economy, but we have so little ownership. If as a collective we pulled out, this whole shit would crumble. I feel myself getting off topic, but essentially, point of the video, stop that pity support bullshit. And I personally think that most of us lie to ourselves about what we really care about or we embellish how much we really care about things. For me, it's quality over quantity. Rather than to just like sprinkle a little pity support here, pity support there, boost everybody's ego ever so slightly, I'd much rather just take real support and encouragement that I have, I have a whole bucket full, and just dump it. And just throw that shit on my people. 
I want the support that I go out of my way to give to actually benefit somebody or give somebody some value, not just stroke their ego. If my business is the ship, then I'm the captain. And God is my navigator. He gave me the vision to go where I need to go, to get where I need to get to safely. Given I make the calls, if I wanna crash through an iceberg, that's on me. But God's always doing his part and showing me what I need to see. And I appreciate all the people from the port cheering me on and wishing me luck on my journey and all that stuff. This analogy is not as refined as I'd like it to be. But all the people giving me encouragement and support from the port, I appreciate it. But at the end of the day, what requires most of my attention and most of my effort, what I really should care about is maintaining the ship and staying on the path. But speaking of supporting small business, go ahead and support my small business by following me on Instagram at CussByElvis. If you got any value from this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe. If you feel like it, I don't want that pity shit. But thanks again. Till next time, craft up a clout. I'm out.